Hey guys, today I want to talk about 10 PyCharm shortcuts that will make you more efficient and will make coding in PyCharm a lot more fun. So let's begin with Alt plus Enter. Therefore, I wrote this simple program that creates a calculator object. And in this case, PyCharm highlights an error here. And if I press Alt and Enter, while my cursor is on this calculator call, this will bring up some quick fixes to uh, resolve this error. For example, in this case, um, we can use the first one, or we want to use the first one, to import our calculator class from a different package. You can also take care of warnings with Alt and Enter. For example, this line here is underlined in yellow. And if I press Alt and Enter here, you see that we get the quick fix to reformat this whole file because there are too many blank lines. And if I press Enter now, PyCharm will fix those errors for us. Next up, we have some line manipulation shortcuts. For example, this calculator has the ability to add two numbers, in this case, five and six. And if I run this, we see that um, 11 is printed. But let's say we want to test this function with multiple values. We can use Control D to duplicate this line and quickly change some values and run this file again. So this is pretty useful if you want to call a function multiple times. And now if you want to change the order of the function call, you can use Control Shift and the arrow keys. And you can change the position of one line. This could also be useful in some cases if you want to refactor your code. Additionally, we have Control and X to cut a line. So this will remove the whole line. And if you want to insert it at a different place, you can just use uh, Control V and it will appear at this new place. At number three, we have a shortcut to comment out uh, some of your code. Uh, for example, you can mark this block that multiplies numbers and you can press Control and slash and this will automatically insert some hash characters in front of your code to comment it out. And to remove those hash characters, you can just press Control and slash again, and the code will start to work again. Another interesting shortcut is Control and B, and this will take you to function declarations or class declarations. For example, we have this calculator object here, and if I put my cursor into it and press Control and B, we get to the definition of this class and can quickly see how this class works or change some things if we need to. And this works with function calls as well. We can press Control B, for example, on this multiply numbers function. And we see that this is a function of uh, this calculator class and it automatically takes us there. One more fun thing is that this kind of works in reverse. If we are on a function declaration and press Control-V, we can see um, every use of our function in our project. At number five, we have Shift-Shift, and Shift-Shift brings up a powerful search menu. And in this search menu, you can search for files, classes, and yeah, for example, we can search for our multiply numbers function. And you can see that this is declared here. And another useful thing is you can search for shortcuts as well. So if you forget one of these shortcuts of this video, then you can just search for duplicate line, for example, and you will see that this shortcut is control plus D. Another thing is you can search for settings in here. For example, if you search for theme, you can quickly change the theme of PyCharm, which again is very nice. Next up, I have a shortcut that is not very PyCharm specific, but it is really useful in general text editing. For example, um, if I want to print Hello World, the good old classic, and if I type 
world very wrong. Then I could go ahead and press backspace a lot of times, or I could press control backspace, and control backspace deletes a whole word. And I used Windows my whole life, and I just figured this out uh, a few months ago through a YouTube video. So I really wanted to share this with you. And I actually figured out that this works with control delete as well. So if you are at the beginning of a word and you press control delete, you delete the whole word. At number seven, we have a very amazing shortcut. And this is control, shift, all and J. So you have to press a lot of buttons, but it will be worth it because for example, if I have my cursor after this ad here and I press control, shift, alt and J, I get multiple cursors after every occurrence of the word add. And this just lets me edit a lot of text very fast. So I could just type add number, for example. I want to change this add to add number. Or I could do everything basically that I want. And this is pretty crazy because you just got four cursors and you can type with all of them simultaneously. At number eight, I have a shortcut that you will probably know about already. And this is just Alt, Shift, and F10 to bring up your run configurations and to run your program with a specific configuration. We can use the main configuration in this example, or we can edit our configurations. And yeah, probably you know about this, but I just want to repeat it. And a very similar shortcut is Alt, Shift, F9. And this just brings up the debug configurations. If you want to learn more about debugging and specifically debugging in PyCharm and how you can become better at finding problems in your code, you can just check out my video on the PyCharm debugger. At number nine, we have a useful shortcut if you want to refactor your code. For example, let's say we have this method here that multiplies numbers and it's called multiply numbers. But let's say we want to rename it everywhere to just multiply because what else should we multiply? Then we can press Shift F6, and this brings up this renaming dialog. And in this case, we can just type in our new name and press refactor, and it will show us in this dialog here every occurrence of our function multiply numbers and the declaration itself. And if we now press do refactor, you can see that this, oh, sorry. You can see that this function is renamed here. And if we go to the function declaration, we can just press Control B. And we will see that the function declaration itself has changed its name. The last shortcut for this video is just a simple navigation shortcut, and it is Control and E. And Control and E brings up this recent files dialog and will show you some of your files you recently opened. And uh, in this case, there's not much, go much going on, but if you have a big project and worked on some files and just want to see which files you have opened recently, you can use this shortcut. So this pretty much wraps up this whole video. I hope this was helpful. And I can guarantee you, if you get used to using these shortcuts, then your PyCharm experience will be a lot smoother, a lot more fun and a lot more productive. So if this helped you, please leave a like. If you have some more shortcuts or questions, leave a comment and I'll see you in the next video.